So who's the patients that we really need to be watching? Who are the ones that's likely to get this keratoconus? The eye rubbers. Now, one thing I always, always ask my patients, especially if it's, you know, a, a, a first time, uh, you know, a, a first visit. And if I find out they have any asthma, eczema or hay fever, I'm always asking if they rub their eyes as well. These are the four questions I will ask um, pretty much all patients um, who I would suspect may have some level of keratoconus. Now, what's quite interesting is there was a study done and keratoconus actually affects males and females roughly equally. But generally, males present with more advanced keratoconus. Now, I can't figure out an exact cause for that, but my own theory is that generally females are a bit more restrained and eye makeup as well probably stops them, whereas men just rub in with the knuckle and keep going. So generally, although the, the only data I have is that, you know, males and females are affected equally, but generally males present with much more advanced keratoconus. And this is one of, one of, the, one of the theories, so that it's eye rubbing is really bringing this on. And the last point there, Down syndrome as well. Really, all your Down syndrome patients, if you can get a topography and start screening for keratoconus, because you'll pick it up a lot more commonly um, than you would potentially first think with these patients. Great. So asthma, eczema, hay fever, and then eye rubbing is the final question, if they have any of the above.